No idea if the keto diet is legit. I'm here to tell you my story. I've lost 13 pounds and 17 inches in just over 10 weeks. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to tell you everything I did in this video to do just that. So tune in to learn more. You know the drill. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do. And also be sure to hit that cute little bell to be notified every time we release a new video on this channel. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have recently gone keto, even though I was the biggest skeptic in the world about the keto diet. And I have lost now 13 pounds and 17 inches off this body in under, just under 11 weeks now. And I am now becoming certified as a keto coach so that I can help other women in their, I'm going to say age 35, 40 plus with hormonal issues, um, take advantage of the keto diet to lose weight. So tune into this video. We're going to talk about just how I've done it in these past 10 to 11 weeks so that you can do it too. Okay, everybody. So let's talk about how exactly I was able to find success and lose 17 inches and 13 pounds in just under 11 weeks on the keto diet. And for those of you who are tuning in who might be new to my channel, I think it really is notable for you to understand that prior to this, I have, even though I said at the beginning of this video, I'm a fitness fanatic, I've always been into fitness. I founded a fitness company in 2011 called Fitfluential. Some of you might have heard of me, you might know of me, you might be like, wow, she's a fitness girl, whatever. Here's the deal. I have been on the struggle bus with my fitness journey for really, to be honest, the better part of the past five to seven years. And truthfully, I could even push that back and say the better part of the past seven to 10 years. Um, I have been over my ideal weight for all of that time. And just ever since my hormones started changing, which happened around my divorce in, I'm going to say 2007. So it's, um, yeah, this is going back even further. My hormones first started changing around 2007. I wouldn't say that, that that's when, you know, I really, that, that that's when the extreme couldn't lose weight situation started to happen. But for sure, this has been going on for a while. And I, I just want everybody to know that it's, an, it's, it's really important that you understand how miraculous this has been for me because before this, <laughs> before the keto diet, before me trying this keto situation, which I was so skeptical about, nothing would work. I was in a, cal I was in a caloric deficit. I would work out six days a week. I was, you know, seeing functional medicine doctors. I've been paying for bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. I've been eating all the right foods, taking all the right supplements, and nothing would work. So I just want everybody to understand that I was pursuing trying to get fit and trying to fix my body for quite a long time. Now I'm going to talk about a lot of the mistakes I've made and a lot of the lessons that I've learned and, and being able to see in retrospect, what I was doing wrong, because a lot of the things that I was doing wrong was just, you know, pushing too hard and, and not seeing the bigger picture. So I'll talk about that in future videos, but I do want you to understand, you know, um, it, it took me a while to get here. And it is most important too, for you to understand that before I started this keto diet, um, I also was on a reverse diet for the better part of about a year. The reason that I was on a reverse diet is, again, because of what I just referenced, um, I had been dieting for so long. I had been overtraining for so long. Uh, a good, really good trainer that I hired in June of last year, of 2020, um, said to me, you really need to take a break. You really need to give your body a break. You really need to take some time to heal your adrenals and you know, you're going to get into a situation where you're going to be burnt out. 
adrenal wise and probably just figuratively speaking as well. And she was very right. And that was probably, not probably, that was one of the best things I could have done. And by the way, in case you're wondering, I did not plan for my drink. These are my exogenous ketones. We'll talk about that later. I didn't plan for this to match my, my top. So again, two points before we start here. Number one um, is that I had really been trying everything before I started keto for years. Nothing worked. Um, and, and, and really, I mean, nothing worked. I've been trying so hard. Number two... I finally understood how important it was for me to go into a reverse diet. And what a reverse diet is, is essentially, um, not only do you scale back your working out um, to give your body rest, but you eat slowly but surely, you start eating more and more calories so that you, know, you don't just go from eating 1,600 calories to 2,500 calories. You slowly but surely increase your calories so that your body you know, gets used to it and you don't gain weight, ideally. <clears throat> And I really didn't gain weight. Um, but um, over that period of a year, I did go from 1,600 calories up to about 2,500 calories. I was doing no cardio for a year, and I was only lifting weights probably four times a week. Um, and that gave my body time to heal and rest. So first thing I did, again, was a year of reverse dieting that gave my body time to heal. And then when my doctor told me it was time that my body was ready for a diet, I was anxiously awaiting, you know, my macros. What's going to be my diet? I was so excited for my diet. My husband thought I was crazy. And then she sent me my macros and I was looking at my macros and I'm like, wait, I, wait, what is this? And it was 50 grams of carbs. It was a 1600 calorie diet. It was 15 grams, it's not 15 grams, excuse me, 50 grams of carbs a day. 60 grams of protein and the rest fats. Now she didn't say go keto, but I could tell by looking at it that this was keto. And I was literally so shocked. First, I was shocked because this is my functional medicine doctor. And I, I had such a skeptical attitude about the keto diet. I thought it was a fad diet. I thought it was a joke diet. I thought it was something that no functional or smart doctor would think would have any respect for. So I couldn't imagine why my doctor was gonna tell me that this is what I should be doing. So um, without getting into too much detail, we went back and forth. She gave me a lot of explanation, a lot of books to read, a lot of podcasts. I fought it for a long time. I finally understood that in a nutshell, she, she helped me to understand that this, the keto diet is really, really, the keto diet combined with fasting and combined with um, extended fasting, particularly intermittent fasting is great, but combined with extended fasting and or intermittent fasting is ideal for women who are metabolically damaged with, or, or you could say women who are in their 40s, 40 plus, who have metabolic damage from all of the hormone issues they have. So all of the hormone imbalances that they have who basically are kind of like broken when it comes to fat loss. That would be me. I decided to go for it, and this is why I went on the keto diet. Okay, so very simply, I said, you guys know what my macros were. 1,600 calories, 50 grams of carbs, 60 to 70 grams of protein. That left me with 125 grams of um, fats. Now, those macros were designed for me. I'm not going to tell you that that's what you should go out and do for your keto diet. Um, those macros are based on what my doctor told me. Everybody's macros should be designed for where they where they're starting off. So don't don't go and and pick your macros based on me um, for sure. Now here's here's I'm going to give you advice along the way based on what I've learned and based on my observations. And some of these things are just based on my opinion, but I am gonna tell you some of these things, I'm just gonna give you my opinion. And I'm also gonna say, here's the deal. As somebody who is 52 years old, who had nothing work for her for, and I mean literally nothing work for literally the better part of 10 years, let's be real. And who has literally had her body transformed before her eyes over the past um, 10 to 11 weeks. I feel pretty strongly about giving you guys some advice. 
So here's what I'm going to tell you. I personally have done the whole 50 grams of carbs or less um, a day. I think the whole net carb thing is BS. Um, I think that the mistakes people make here's here. I'm going to give you this advice right up front. Here's the mistakes I think people make with keto when they go keto. They don't count calories. They do net carbs. I think the net carbs things is baloney. Um, I think people that go keto and, and just go keto because they think, oh, this is cool. I can have cheeseburgers and hot dogs and spinach dip. If that's why you're going keto, don't waste your time. If you're going keto because you can eat hot dogs and have spinach dip, you're not going keto for the right reasons. You don't want to change your life and you don't really want to lose weight. You just want to eat more food. Okay. The other mistake, and again, this is strictly my opinion, the other mistake people make is, um, so it's net carbs going on the keto diet just because they're like, well, this is cool. I'm going on the keto diet because I can eat cheeseburgers and, you know, hamburgers and hot dogs and blah, blah, blah. Eating all the packaged foods, like like going keto and, and buying like Slim Fast keto bars and keto, you know, nothing but package going down the packaged food buy aisle and buying everything that has a keto label on it. I mean, in my book, the, one of the reasons that, that I have been so successful and that people who are successful and have been, have had the biggest transformations is I, I find that I, I look at what I'm eating and I'm eating real food. And I think about, I think about the foods that I'm eating and I think about how much my doctor was telling me the most important thing for me is to get foods out of my life that were creating an insulin response. You know, she, I used to be so obsessed about my hypothyroid situation when I would think about all of my hormone issues. And she's like, your hypothyroid is, is an issue, but really the bigger issue is your, your, your insulin, you know, you have insulin resistance. And so every time you're eating, you're creating an insulin response, which is, you know, affecting, um, you know, fat storage. And, and I'm paraphrasing here, but anyway, when you think about the keto diet, you're, you're removing all the things that create an insulin response that raise your blood sugar. And so to me, when I think about the fact that I don't go out and buy all of the, you know, filled with 9,000 chemicals to, to try, when you're trying to go out and buy all of these fake foods that are trying to, this is my opinion, trying to replace cakes and cookies they have to put so many chemicals and fake things in them to make them taste like what you remember cookies and cakes to be, you're going to end up with a bad stomach ache. Because I, I remember, and this is nothing against the brand. I really don't want to bash a brand. One time I tried some Eat Enlightened ice cream. And other than that, I've been eating nothing but real foods, like organic meats, organic cheeses, blah, 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 blah. I got the worst stomach ache and one of the, in the second half of this video, I'm going to talk about the wonderful benefits, the changes to my life that I've had outside of weight loss, which is fantastic. But, um, my life has changed so much because of this experience. Like these, these are permanent changes. I don't ever want to walk away from, I don't ever want to go back. And you know, it's just been absolutely remarkable to not have bloating and to not have stomach aches and to not have all of these other side effects that I used to have all the time. So when, when Steve and I, one time I ordered, when I was ordering from Amazon Prime now, I ordered, I was like, oh, I, you know, I'll order this keto ice cream. And we split one. And the next day I was so bloated, I couldn't do my workout. And I'm like, oh, what is, you know, and I looked at the ingredients, I couldn't pronounce half of them. So I don't, the only thing that I regularly let myself get, it's by, and I will link it below, I get it at Whole Foods, and I remember I looked on the back of the label, I was okay, because pretty much everything on the back of the label was like 
organic tapioca starch, organic coconut oil, organic this. It's, I think it's BHU Foods and it's this um, keto cookie dough. It's the only thing that I can think of outside of, and I don't call this fake food because it's exogenous ketones. Um, I, I really, I don't get fake foods. I really don't. Um, so that is, those are some of the, the few mistakes to me that I see people doing, not counting calories, buying all fake foods, and then generally speaking, going on keto because they, they say, well, I'm going keto because, well, I'm going to combine these two things together. People will go on keto because they say, I can go on keto because I can eat, you know, hot dogs and cheeseburgers, or they say, just go keto and you don't have to count calories. That's BS and that goes back to what I said, you have to count calories, okay? You've gotta count calories. You've gotta count calories. You've gotta count calories. No matter what diet you're on, you have to be in a caloric deficit. That is one of the most important things ever, ever, ever. You have to count calories, okay? Do you hear me on that? Um, now, these, this is not a tip for you guys. This is just me telling you everything that I did. Um, I did practice intermittent fasting. I do practice intermittent fasting with keto. Do you have to? Absolutely not. Um, is intermittent fasting easier when you're doing keto? A thousand percent. In fact, I will be linking up later in this video um, and hopefully I will remember to do it <laughs> when I'm editing this. This is why I'm putting my finger up here. Um, that I did a video on uh, do keto and intermittent fasting work really well together. I'll link that up at the end of the video. Um, but you, you know, it absolutely works really well together because again, when you're not shoving a bunch of carbs down your throat, your cravings are gonna change. Furthermore, one of the things I'm gonna talk about later are exogenous ketones. When you are taking exogenous ketones, you will notice how much your cravings will diminish, your appetite will be suppressed, and therefore intermittent fasting and fasting in general, completely different ballgame. So intermittent fasting in general is a tool um, to shorten your eating window so that you can eat less calories, okay? Extended fasting is another tool that is um, a completely, it's a completely different situation. It can give you more health benefits because you're you know starting to step into autophagy which gives you more long-term health benefits which can also help with fat loss um, and that's something that i practice one time a week 20, a 24-hour fast and what i'm starting to do now is once a month a 60-hour fast um, so that's something to keep in mind as well um, but again it is a lot easier when you're on the keto diet because you're not eating carbs. When you're eating carbs, or the way that I used to eat carbs, and then you fast, you will have more cravings, you will think about food, you will want food more than when you're on a keto diet. So keep that in mind. One of the things I just mentioned, this is a great segue, was uh, the exogenous ketones. This is something that you guys see me drinking. I just decided to take a chug while I'm at it. So one of probably, um, I don't want to say critical, that's not the word I'm looking for. Um, one of the most important tools that I rely on, and in fact, my husband uses the exogenous ketones as well, um, are exogenous ketones. So what's funny is I actually heard about exogenous ketones probably four years ago from my first uh, functional medicine doctor. Now the company um, that I buy these from, I'm actually a promoter for the company. Um, it's called Prove It, P-R-U-V-I-T. So you can um, order these from me. Um, I heard about them four or five years ago or so from my first doctor. Now back then they had about one or two pro one or two flavors. And I tried it back then and I was not keto, obviously, and I was trying to be paleo and I just was not that into the product. I didn't think it tasted good. And it was a completely different company. It was a completely different product. It did not taste good. In fact, 
I'm very good friends with the president of the company right now. And even he's, I told him, I, I go, it didn't taste good back then. He's like, oh my God, back then it was completely different. Um, when I was doing my research and thinking about going keto, what happened is I started looking on Instagram and I wanted to see people who were keto and what they were eating and what they were drinking and how they were working out. And I kept finding people with these glass bottles like this and they were drinking stuff and I'm like, you know, and they were talking about prove it. And I'm like, oh my God, that's just, there's that company. And then I started to like look up on their website and I, I realized that here's this company that I heard about all these years ago and they have all of these different flavors now. And I don't know, I just had this gut feeling that I should order them again. So I reconnected with a friend of mine, Jenny Lynn, who was uh, a distributor of the product. God rest her soul, she has since passed away very, very bizarre situation. She died very suddenly. That has nothing to do with any of this, I'm just saying. Um, but I ended up ordering the product, got all of these flavors. They have the most amazing flavors ever. And I just had this feeling, I'm like, all these people are drinking these ketones. They come in all of these great flavors. This would be a great if I loved these flavors because it would make me drink water during the day instead of drinking soda. And that was kind of the thought that was going through my head. Now, I'd always heard people talk about exogenous ketones and how they suppress your appetite, how it gives you all of this energy, how it um, gives you clarity of thought and focus. Like I heard all of this stuff and, and I was like, whatever. You know, I that was kind of my thought, like whatever. And, and so I just had this feeling like I should order some stuff. And I did, and I signed up under my friend as a distributor just to get the discount, really. And I got the stuff, first thing, I, I was like obsessed with the taste. The taste of all of it, the, like they have stuff like snow cone flavor, sweet tea flavor, lime flavor, um, this is berry blue, there's raspberry, they just came out with like a sweet jam flavor. They come out with more flavors than you can possibly imagine, and they're all ridiculously good. Start doing some Googling about the benefits of exogenous ketones. I believe I just saw somebody today post that, um, oh, who's the most popular podcaster? I can't think of his name. He was just talking about the benefits of exogenous ketones on his podcast. The most popular podcaster, why can't I think of his name? I can't think of his name, I'm going blank on his name. I literally can't think of his name. Anyway, I'll link it below because of course I'm gonna think of his name when I'm done recording. Anyway, um, ordered the ketones, loved the taste. Here's the deal, you guys. I literally would never, ever, 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 ever be able to make this up. After I start, I, I ordered these on, so I officially started my um, keto diet June 1st. I ordered these on May 31st. I probably got them about a week into my keto diet. Um, I probably was taking them about a week into my keto diet when I noticed these following things. Number one, the first thing I noticed, energy. Every single afternoon, I used to have this problem where about two o'clock, I was having to go into my bedroom and set my alarm and take a half an hour nap, literally, and I would fall asleep. I, would, I was dead tired at two o'clock every day. And then I would set my alarm again and take another half an hour nap. So I was literally like that tired that I would have to take an almost an hour nap every day. I was worried that my adrenal fatigue was coming back. I swear to you, ever since I have started taking exogenous ketones two times a day, I take one mid-morning, one mid-afternoon. My husband takes them as well, even though he's not keto. Um, I have not been tired, I have not taken a nap. Number two, this is ridiculous, how much this helps curb your appetite and curb your cravings. I cannot get over how when I take this two times a day, I eat two meals a day, I don't snack, I don't obsess about food. I do think this is also in combination with the keto diet. Let me be, let me be clear there. I, I, can't, I can't describe to you how much my life has changed. And I'm gonna summarize this as I close up the video because this is part of, oh, my husband's just getting home. This is part of how much my life has changed. I used to be binge, binge person all the time, binging all the time, obsessed with food all the time, craving all the time, thinking about my next meal all the time, carb 
addicted all the time. Obsessed with Lenny and Larry's protein cookies, macadamia nut cookies, um, donuts all the time. I do not think about food the way I used to. I am not consumed by food the way I used to. Even my husband said, he goes, you used to live for snacking. I am completely different. I cannot tell you how when I added this and I noticed a difference because I kind of went sloppy keto in May when I was thinking about this and then I went officially keto in June and started weighing myself and measuring myself, taking pictures. Um, and then I added the ketones, complete noticeable difference in energy, in appetite suppression, and in focus during the day at work. Absolutely noticed it. It is remarkable. I cannot recommend them strongly enough to anybody. I'm gonna have an offer at the end of this video where you guys can try it for 99 bucks for like 10 days. I absolutely think anybody who tries it for 10 days will absolutely like notice the difference and, and say, I've gotta have this. This is gonna change my life. Keto can change your life. My whole life has been transformed. It's just been amazing. I, I clearly can't say enough good things about it, about everything. I'm just Keto Kelly now, what can I say? I also wanna make, this is kind of like a sidebar comment, but there might be some of you who are watching this because when I started sharing my results, I got a lot of people or women notably who would say, I tried keto and I gained weight. Or I had a lot of, people would say to me, I've had friends or I've had family members who gained so much weight on keto. And there's one thing I wanna to say to you to consider. For me, and people would ask me about, did you have the keto flu? Did you have keto breath? They would ask about all these side effects or very extreme things. I really didn't experience any of that. On the other hand too, I do think that the way that I was eating before, it was pretty easy for me to transition into this diet, even though I was, when I look back and I reflect, I did have a pretty carb heavy diet. I did have a pretty, um, a diet heavy in insulin response inducing foods. Does that make sense what I just said? That said, I think that if you are somebody and you're watching this video and you are somebody who drinks a lot of alcohol, um, you eat a lot of fast food, you are, um, you know, eating a very, very unhealthy diet. I think the idea of going from an extreme, extremely unhealthy diet and going all the way keto, I would recommend a transition. I, because maybe in those cases, that's when you might experience keto flu, um, some, of, some of those things. There are certainly some tips that I give to people that I'm working with, that I'm coaching. You know, I take fiber in my coffee every day. I take inulin in my coffee. These are things that help. People ask about being constipated. Never been constipated. Um, so those are things to keep in mind. Um, and these are things that um, people who become um, my customers, for example, you know, people that become my customers when they buy exogenous ketones from me, I help them. I get to be their informal coach. Um, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am becoming certified as a keto coach so that I, you know, people who want to hire me for more one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'd feel more comfortable if I had a certification uh, to do that, but I do offer informal coaching for people who are my customers um, with the exogenous ketones. So I'll offer that at the end of this video. Um, but I did want to bring that up too, again. So if you're watching this video and you are somebody who is leading a currently, you just gotta be honest with yourself, a really unhealthy diet, you might want to think about a transition plan. And I'm happy to help you with that, where you transition because going from a very heavy carb diet to a like very low carb diet could be challenging at best and traumatic. So let me ask you, is this video hitting home for you guys? 
Is this getting you excited though? Are you getting excited thinking that this might be the home run diet for you, like it was for me? Are you like me, somebody who was completely before this video, totally 1000% skeptical about the keto diet, and now you're like, hmm, maybe this is for me. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Let me know, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking, let me know what your questions are. I do wanna wrap up and tell you guys, I am gonna be doing some videos coming up here on what I eat in a day, some of my favorite recipes, some of my favorite, um, you know, like what to buy at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is a place, if you're gonna be going keto, you're gonna wanna spend a lot of time at Trader Joe's. I get some really great weekly staples at Trader Joe's. Um, so stay tuned, there's gonna be some of those videos coming up. Um, that'll give you some some really help, helpful tips, um, what to buy at the grocery store, things that I recommend, um, some really quick and easy meal ideas, stuff like that. Um, so make sure you're subscribed, that's gonna be coming up. Um, also, how to diversify your diet, um, because that's, I think, the key is you just, the last thing you wanna be doing is eating hot dogs every day and hamburgers every day. Do I have double cheeseburgers on a plate? Absolutely, do I have them every day? No, I have fish, I have chicken, I have beef, I have um, kielbasa, I have, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Not fish cakes, uh, crab cakes. I mean, I have all kinds of different things, but mixing it up is gonna keep you from being bored, but it's also gonna be good for your stomach. So that kind of stuff is coming up soon. I don't wanna get into that much specific of a specific detail on this video or be 45 minutes long. What I do want to wrap up with to entice you a little bit more, um, because really the point of this video is to convince you of the efficacy of the keto diet, particularly again um, for women 40 plus with hormonal issues, I want to tell you how much, not only from a weight loss perspective, you've heard my results, I want to tell you about the other results that have been life-changing for me because really obviously it's it's been life-changing for me to lose 17 inches and 13 pounds in 10 just a little over 10 weeks um, I'm not at my goal weight yet but I know I will be um, they're fixing my refrigerator right now so I'm just listening to make sure I don't need to go out there but I just wanna reiterate kind of what I talked about a little bit earlier to, um, in the video, which is this. You guys, I cannot get over the, let me, let, me, let me say part one is what I talked about earlier, how much better I feel. I'm not walking around bloated all the time. I'm not walking around with stomach aches all the time. I don't have this just constant side effects from a stomach perspective that I used to have all the time. I feel good. I sleep better. Um, and then from a, how do I say this? Unhealthy relationship with food perspective. I have completely had my, re my, my negative relationship with food transformed. I don't have an obsessive relationship with food anymore. I am not controlled by and consumed by thoughts of food all day anymore like I used to. I haven't binged since I started. I used to binge all the time. I used to sneak off and buy Lenny and Larry's white chocolate macadamia nut cookies all the time. I used to sneak off and buy a dozen donuts all the time. And then I would fast for 24 hours to make up for it. I was binging, purging, binging, purging all the time. Um, I was eating in secret and keeping it from, you know, my boyfriend at the time, my husband now. Um, I was living for sugar, living for carbs, dealing with headaches from sugar, crashing and burning, um, dealing with energy highs, energy lows, all of that. I have better energy, better focus. I don't have cravings. I don't snack. I'm not consumed by food. My love of food has not changed. I don't want to tell you that I don't love food. I don't want to tell you that I don't. But I like when I think about a piece of cake right now, 
it just doesn't have any power over me. When we go to, when we go out to eat and Steve is sitting there eating bread in front of me, I'm not consumed by it. I'm not like sitting there going, oh my God, I'm dying that I'm not having a piece of bread. You know why? Because I'm able to walk into my closet and put on clothes I haven't worn in five years. I'm, I look at myself in the mirror and I don't recognize the body I see. And it's in a good way. Whereas for the past three or four years, I would look in the mirror and not recognize the body I saw in a disgusting way. I, I was trying on clothes the other day and I saw myself in the mirror from the side and I like was like, I don't recognize myself. That is the best feeling ever. This has been the most transformative experience I've ever had in my life, in my whole adult life. I can't say enough good things about it. It has been, and I will tell you this for everybody watching, it has been easier than I ever thought. Probably the first three to four days were, you know, me going, keep, you know, don't eat the carbs, you know, watch this. Truth is, when I added those exogenous ketones, it made a big difference. Um, and, and I think, too, the ketones not only do something because of, and I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm doing a lot of studying about the science of keto, but I'm also doing a lot of study about how ketones work. But I think, too, is like the taste of this gives, satisfies my sweet craving. Does that make sense, too? So it's like a one-two punch. Like the science of the ketones does its work, and then this is satisfying your sweet tooth. And there's no artificial sweeteners or colors or any crap in here. So it's all good. But again, I just want to tell you, like, how this has transformed my life. I cannot be a big enough evangelist for the keto diet combined with fasting and intermittent fasting and exogenous ketones. Bam. That's it. If you want some of this, you need to reach out to me. Let me help you. You need to get yourself some ketones. You need to start on the keto diet. I want to help you. I'm happy to be your guide. I'm happy to walk arm in arm with you. This can change your life. Don't stay stuck another minute because when I think back that I could have been doing this two or three years ago, oh my God. It is the most amazing thing ever, and this is what I want for all of you. Seriously. And I know you want this too. Okay, guys, so clearly I've already put the invitation out, but let me just be even more obvious. If you've watched this video and this is what you want for yourself, I would love to invite you to become my customer and therefore let me help you. I want to be your coach. I want to help you on this journey. This keto experience has transformed my life like nothing else and if you want to get started shoot you know you can leave a comment below but let's be more direct email me kelly at kellyalexa.com let's get you on some ketones let's get you on the keto diet i'm happy to advise you i'm happy to answer any questions we'll set up a time to chat let's do it let's do it now don't wait don't doubt don't do what i did and wait and wait and wait and doubt and think about it and do that. Don't be wishy-washy. You know you want it. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Well, would you look at that? There's three more videos all about keto, intermittent fasting, my experience with keto, and everything that you want to learn more about right here. Watch it all now.